Mandalorian Monopoly? Wow. What's up, everybody? It's Ken with Mid-Level Media back again for another Tuesday Blues Day shopping trip. I am right here, guys, parked outside of the Best Buy, getting ready to go in there and see what they got, see what maybe potential Black Friday deals they have. I know that the Black Friday started um, in some of the stores I was seeing over the weekend, some people going out, picking things up. Uh, I know Walmart has their deals out, Target, uh, Best Buy maybe. I haven't really seen a lot of videos with Best Buy, but uh, I plan to go to a couple of other locations today. Obviously, I'm going to go to Best Buy, the Walmarts, the Targets. I'm also going to go to a place called Myers. I don't know if anybody has a Myers in their location. I'm going to try to go there. I also heard that Big Lots got some new Blu-rays in stock, so I want to hit up a Big Lots, see if they got anything new for cheap. But definitely an exciting day. For collecting, we have that Resident Evil 4K set that came out. We have New Mutants on 4K, regardless what you think about the film. It is a new Marvel X-Men film that has arrived on store shelves today with New Mutants. They have a Best Buy exclusive steelbook that I'm hoping to catch a look at. Uh, we also have Words on the Bathroom Walls. We have the Broken Hearts Gallery. Um, I don't know if we're going to see Relic or Twins. If we're going to see them anywhere, it's going to be in Best Buy, those Shout Factory releases. But uh, Westworld Season 3, also tons of stuff that came out today, unhinged on Blu-ray as well. So tons of stuff that came out today that we might get a chance to look at. But let's go ahead and get to it, guys. Let's get in that Best Buy, see if they got any Steelbook. Best Buy, here we go. Maybe the only time I'll be excited to check out New Mutants on 4K. Let's do it. Guys, looks like they got their Black Friday deals. See, we got Joker for six bucks. Shazam. Wonder Woman, Godzilla. I don't think those are for five bucks, that Joker 4K. Got some 4Ks for eight bucks. Birds of Prey, Joker. Overlord, that's an excellent slipcover, excellent film. They do have the 4K of Knives Out for 10. All these are 10. Midway, Full Metal Jacket. All these are $5. Uncut Gems for 5 bucks, guys. That's an amazing deal. Glass, Rocket Man. Great deals. All these are 10. Visible Man, Dr. Sleep, Parasite, Edge Hunter 2. Nothing's really changed in the new release section. All right, guys, so we have found that Resident Evil 4K set. It's a great looking set. Let's see. Not seeing new mutants anywhere still. We got some of the Rambo. Got a lot of Rambo steelbook sets. Tons of them. More Resident Evil. Let's see. Alright guys, so not finding new mutants anywhere. I'm sure we'll see it in other stores though. Let's get out of here. All right, guys, so I just got out of the Best Buy. Looks like they have all of their Black Friday deals right now are in full effect, so that's pretty cool, right? I mean, if, if you could say the virus did one good thing, uh, we don't have to wait in line for two hours to go to Best Buy to get some Blu-ray deals. We can just go out and get them now uh, two weeks ahead of time, so that's pretty cool that they had all their deals in there. They're all fully stocked. Um, at least in mine, it doesn't mean they're going to be in yours. But in addition to those Black Friday deals, they also had the Resident Evil 4K set that I caught a glimpse of. Um, they did not have New Mutants. They didn't have any of the Shout Factor releases. I didn't see Unhinged either. So the Resident Evil set was the only new thing that I saw in stores today, which is okay because that's the only store that I thought would have that set. I think uh, Target and Walmart will probably have all the other stuff. So we'll get we'll be able to cover all of the bases there. But um, I did grab one thing from the Black Friday sale, and before I get into that, I just have to kind of voice my frustration because I was in line for like 10 minutes trying to not really argue, but just talk to them about this uh, deal that I got for It's a Wonderful Life. I got this 4K for 10 bucks. I really wanted this. I I've been wanting it for a while now. Um, so I get up there and it rings up for $13 and I'm like, and it was in the $10 section in the Blu-ray. 
uh, in the Blu-rays, but uh, it rang up for t for thirteen bucks, and I'm like, it's ten bucks. It, it says that in the black. It's in the Black Friday deals, and they're like, oh, can you go back and take a picture for me and show me? So I go back, I take the picture, I come back up. Of course, they've got somebody that jumped in front of me. Somebody's in line, and so I have to wait beyond them. And that person's having credit card issues, so I'm waiting even longer. And then this other woman offers to help me, so I go over there. And then she makes me walk back there with her and, and look. And I'm like, look, It's a Wonderful Life down there. She's like, this isn't even showing up in the system in the stores. I'm like, It's a Wonderful Life is right there. There's multiple copies in your Black Friday $10 uh, bin. And I show her on the sign where it even has It's a Wonderful Life on the sign that's below nine ninety nine. So I know it's not a mistake. It's not in the wrong spot. Um, and she's like, oh, that's weird. And then we go back up there and she rings it up again. And then she has to call a manager. And this whole ordeal just takes like 10, 15 minutes. And in my head, the whole time I'm thinking, God, I just want to walk out of here. I don't even want the damn thing anymore. Uh, but I stayed, I stuck it out. I ended up getting It's a Wonderful Life on 4K for 10 bucks. So I am excited about that. And that stuff seems to happen a lot, in particular at Best Buy, where they have stuff in the wrong spot or things don't ring up correctly. It happened to me last week at Target for Frozen, and I just left it and let it go. Uh, but this week, I wasn't letting it go. I wanted that damn uh, It's a Wonderful Life 4K, and I got it. But we are on our way to Target right now, guys, so let's do it. Into Target, we go. Will they have their Black Friday deals out, guys? Let's see. Alright guys, so not much going on in the Target today. They didn't have any of their new releases out, and I don't know if it's because they're just focused on Black Friday stuff right now, which also didn't make any sense because there's not any Black Friday stuff that they had out either. There wasn't like sections like Best Buy had, so um, yeah, I don't know. That was disappointing. I guess, you know, it, it's just like Target's hit or miss every, every now and then. It's, uh, it, it's like some weeks they just completely forget to restock anything. But, um, I mean, Best Buy pretty much did the same thing. I mean, the only thing they have is that Resident Evil set. So what I do when that happens, I resort to liquor hunting. You know, the, the old, uh, the old good old standby on the, on the mid-level Blu-ray trip is liquor hunting, toilet paper hunting. That's what Target's good for, right? But we're going to head on to Big Lots right now, guys. A new Big Lots location, one that I haven't been to before, so I'll see you when we get there. Oh yeah, this Big Lots be fancy. Look at that. Will they have a fancy selection of Blu-rays? We'll see. Getting out of Big Lots right there behind me, walking to my car. I got this ABCs of Death 
I've never seen it. I've heard some, some good things about it from horror fans, so I grabbed that from the big lot. Into the Myers we go. Who's ever been to a Myers? This is the first time I've ever been here on the Blu-ray trip. Let's do it. Looks like they got all these HBO seasons for $10 on Blu-ray. Game of Thrones Season 8, I think. I mean, that's what I'm thinking. Westworld, Band of Brothers. It's a pretty good deal if these are all really $10. $10. Got some Disney titles. These are all pretty much standard price. Got some Christmas titles. I don't know, $9.99 for a DVD. $14.99 for Blu-ray. $14.99 for Elf. It's pretty pricey. They do have some of the new titles. They got that Russell Crowe Unhinged, $22.99. They got New Mutants 4K, no price. 21, 22 Jump Street got unhinged for $16.99. See, that's regular $26.99. They're trying to say that's a sale. They got words on the bathroom wall. The DVD for $11.99. It's not a bad price for that. For the DVD, they got Mulan down there, 4K. Got some more new releases over here. Yeah, I mean, Mars, they got some stuff. It's a little pricey though. A little pricey. Now this is where you come if you want these uh, these uh, universal sets. You got the action film set. You got the Judd Apatow comedy collection. 1980s. Uh, Safa animation comedy. Lots of cool sets here. Got DVDs for days. Oh, there's one Blu-ray. I already have that one though. All right. Here you go, guys. If you didn't get the uh, Screen Factory one, you got a DVD. Eight film collection on Friday the 13th. Joker on Blu-ray for $14.99. I'm pretty sure you can get this at Target now for like seven dollars. Does anybody want a Blu-ray copy of Avengers Endgame for twenty-seven bucks? <laughs> or Guardians of the Galaxy? Jesus! This might be the only store I've ever seen a copy of Twister in the physical media section. For that, they get a thumbs up. Oh, I almost picked up a 4K copy of Warrior for eight bucks at Game Exchange. I'm glad I didn't, so I could pay twenty dollars here at Meyer. Even more overpriced 4Ks, guys. Woo! You could buy a copy of Capone on DVD for fifteen bucks. <laughs> you got some cool movie-themed games here. Titanic, the game. That's cool. Huh? I'm actually tempted to get that. A blockbuster party game in a case. That's actually kind of cool too. Office, Steve Harvey. They got some cool games here. Mandalorian Monopoly? Wow. There you go. $35 for a copy of Fantastic Beast Crimes of Grindelwald 4K. Damn. That's a great deal. Alright guys, Myers be gouging. Let's get out of here. Alright guys, so I just got out of the Myers. Um, and Myers had a lot of cool stuff in there. They had a large selection, but their prices were just through the roof ridiculous. Um, so yeah, I, I didn't pick anything up from Myers. <laughs> but uh, if you have a Myers in your location, I mean, they had a few deals here and there. If those HBO deals, if those Blu-ray seasons are really only $10, that's actually a really good deal. So if you have a Myers in your location and want to go check those out, definitely do so. But Right now, guys, we are on our way to Walmart for our last stop. Let's do it. Guys, we are at Walmart. Will they bring us the Black Friday deals? Let's see. Looks like they got their deals. Hmm. No sticker on that one. 
Got eight bucks for Invisible Man. Rambo 4K10. That's eight dollars for something. Like that. Yeah, these deals are kind of lame. If you don't own Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, that's a good deal for six bucks. Great movie. Looks like they actually have new mutants here. $29.96, $24.96 for Blu-ray, $19.96 for DVD. Broken Hearts Gallery on DVD they have for $17.96. They have this Terminator collection. I think DVD for $34.96. The Blue Way for It's a Wonderful Life, $14.96. White Christmas, also $14.96. They got these cool little art, ornament artwork sets. Christmas Story. Are these DVD? I think these are all DVD. Yeah, that's not a great deal. I know the dart works cool, but we do have some new stuff over here. Locust, Blu-ray, DVD, The Project, Blu-ray, DVD, Little Kingdom, and we got Last Train. Those are all new. I haven't seen those. Uh, Haven's Inn, Frozen Front Breakthrough, Final Voyage, They Reach. I feel like I've seen that. Maybe not. Metro, Wingman. All new this week, guys. All right, let's go ahead and head out of here. All right, guys, Blu-ray physical media enthusiasts, that does it for this week's edition of the Blu-ray shopping trip. I appreciate all of you all for joining me here today. I feel like this video is going to be a little long because honestly, it felt like I went to the ends of the earth as far as locations today. Uh, I went to uh, Best Buy, Target, Myers, Big Lots, um, ended up at Walmart. So basically what I gathered, you know, I wanted to get all the best information for you all for uh, Black Friday sales. Um, basically, go to Walmart, go to Best Buy. They're the ones that have their sales out, but Best Buy is probably your best bet because they had the best uh, deals on, on pretty much everything as far as Blu-rays and 4K. So I would hit up uh, Best Buy for sure. Walmart was a little weak, but you know, if you're not picking up all the new releases all the time like I am, um, it, there's probably some good deals in there. Like Once Upon a Time in Hollywood for six bucks on Blu-ray is a, is a great deal. So definitely hit up those stores and, and see what you can find. But uh, again, guys, thank you all for sticking with me to the end of this video. If you did, I have a special announcement. I am going to be giving away the digital copy of It's a Wonderful Life, my picket for today on 4K. All you have to do to enter this giveaway is comment down below just anything that you picked up this week, physical media wise, or if you did pick anything up just comment that down below just leave me a comment down below also like the video be a subscriber of the mid-level media channel and you will be entered to win a digital copy a digital 4k copy of it's a wonderful life which i will announce the winner for in next week's blu-ray shopping trip so just a little something for you guys for the ones that stuck to the video uh, uh all the way to the end you know it's, it's christmas i'm in the giving mood give you all a nice christmas flick to enjoy with your family but definitely appreciate you guys watching the video this week please like like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.